Welcome to Spidel's California Minute. I'm your host, Katherine Zidane. This week, we're covering identity verification notices from the FTB and the best way to handle these notices. You can get an update on what has happened with all of the state tax agencies over the last year at Spidel's Federal and California Tax Update and be prepared for the upcoming filing season. For a list of topics covered and live webinar and seminar dates, go to caltax.com. Clients often may receive notices from the FTB asking to verify personal information, such as the amount of their prior year tax refund and bank account information. These identity verification notices that clients receive are generally forms FTB 4734D and FTB 3904. If the FTB suspects that potential fraud exists, they'll reach out to the taxpayer with a letter asking for information to help validate the taxpayer's return and refund. The FTB's goal is to make sure the correct refund is going to the correct taxpayer. Do not mail or fax information in response to these forms. You can call the number on the notice for your client, and if you have copies of the taxpayer's prior year return, you should be able to easily straighten it out for them. When the FTB receives a tax return for processing, it's analyzed via the new return analysis system, and if the return looks suspicious, it's put on hold and the FTB contacts the taxpayer by mail. The FTB sends Form 4734D, Tax Information and Document Request, when there's a question regarding the taxpayer's identity. The 4734D requests copies of the taxpayer's driver's license, W-2 and 1099-R forms, and paycheck stubs. But if the FTB highly suspects identity theft, they'll send Form 3904, Tax Return Filed, Confirmation Required. This notice is sent to the last good address on file for the taxpayer, which is not necessarily the address on the return. The FTB will ask a variety of questions to verify if the taxpayer is legitimate to prevent a fraudster from taking over their account. We suggest that you call the number on the notice to resolve the issue. If you make the call, you'll likely not need all the information requested because many of these notices can be easily resolved. When you call, have a copy of the notice and a copy of the client's current and prior year returns. The FTB suggests faxing the information to them, and although you can mail the information, neither we nor the FTB recommend it. Keep in mind that when calling, the FTB's recorded message may still request that the taxpayer's social security number be faxed or mailed, but do not fax or mail social security information. This information is no longer required. Stay up to date on California tax news with a subscription to Spidel's California Tax Letter. Since 1975, Spidel has been a trusted and connected resource for tax updates at the state level. For subscription information, go to caltax.com and click Publications. That's all for this week. Join us next time for another episode of Spidel's California Minute.